Hi, this is Lou from YA Strength. YA equals U R, so you are strength. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about muscle activation in the chest, specifically when it comes down to two exercises the barbell bench press, which everyone knows about, right? And the dumbbell flies. Which one is more effective when it comes to muscle activation in your pectoral muscles and other muscles within the upper body? The truth is a lot of us love chest day. We love working on the upper body. It's something that we enjoy doing. It's the most visible part of our bodies. So the question is, which workouts will be most effective? And those are the ones that you want to do more than other workouts. Not to say that just because one workout is more effective than the other, that we shouldn't do the, the latter at all. Then the question becomes, which one should we be doing more or should we incorporate more within our workout routine? And which one should we digress from? And still do, but not as we do the other workout. So there was a research study that was published on the Journal of Sports and Medicine, and it compared muscle activation in the chest between dumbbell flies and also the barbell bench press. The study consisted of resistance trained men. So men who actually trained before. So these are men that you see within the gym regularly. More specifically within the study, men who have trained for at least four to six years and also men who have done either the barbell breast press, press and or dumbbell flies within the past six months. So it's really focused on those who are currently training, not really focused on newbies or people who never trained before, which is good because most of us have been to the gym before or we train every so often. So you really want to get the appropriate results when they do these type of research studies. So the link to the study will be posted below in the description, so be sure to go there to check it out and also take a deeper dive because I'm not going to go into as much detail as the actual study did. I'm just going to pick out the important pieces and give it to you in this video. Um, that's to make it short and I could do the research for you essentially. The aim of the study specifically was to compare muscle activity in the pectoris major, the deltoid anterior, the triceps brachii, and the biceps brachii and different training loads. The study consisted of 17 men between the ages of about 22 and 24-ish. Subjects were only included in this study if they were considered to be people who worked out recently within the past six months. They also did not have any prior injuries recently within the past year and also they could bench their own body weight. So before I tell you about the results, let me tell you about something called electromyography, also known as EMG. So EMG is a recording of electric activity in the muscles using electrodes attached to the skin and inserted into the muscle tissue. So you might, might have seen images of what that looks like, but that's what EMG is. So at the end of this study, what they found was that in the pectoralis major, so EMG was about 16% higher in the barbell breath press group than the group that did dumbbell flies. In the anterior deltoids, EMG was about 25% higher when compared to the group that did the dumbbell flies. And in the triceps brachii, the EMG was 75% higher than the group that did the dumbbell flies. The only time that EMG was higher in the group that did the dumbbell flies compared to the barbell bench press was when they measured EMG activation in the biceps or the biceps brachii. In this case, EMG was actually 76% higher in the dumbbell flies than in the barbell bench press, which makes sense because when you do dumbbell flies, you're opening like this and you're feeling more activation in your biceps than you would typically in other scenarios such as the barbell breast press. So when you go like this, you feel it more in the biceps than when you go like this, you feel it more in the triceps. So what can we take from this study with regard to muscle activation between the barbell breast press and the dumbbell flies? So if the primary focus of your workout is to increase or 
increase the strength or muscle activity in the primary movers in your upper body, which is the chest, the triceps, the delts, then you definitely want to do the barbell bench press or incorporate the barbell bench press in a heavier load or in higher frequency than you do with the dumbbell flies. Now, when it comes to dumbbell flies, they take the lead with regard to getting an additional effect on your chest. However, it also includes other upper body components such as your biceps or biceps brachii. So in conclusion, I recommend that you actually incorporate both into your workout. Focus on the barbell bench press, of course, for your main part of your routine. Then also you can supplement your routine when it comes to an, another physical activity with the dumbbell flies. Dumbbell flies are also great for working out any imbalances because when you do a barbell bench press, you, you often have to consider balancing out the bar as that can lead to certain imbalances in your chest, right? But when you do dumbbell fly, you are holding the weights equally in both hands and you are able to stabilize respective of each other's weight. So there's no need to worry about any imbalances. That's actually going to work out any kinks or imbalances within your chest as well. So incorporate both of them. Use the barbell bench press as your primary workout and supplement your workout or add an additional workout. That's to finish it off with the dumbbell flies. So there you have it. I hope you found this informational video um, helpful and informative with regard to understanding the difference or the impact of muscle activation in your chest uh, when it comes to comparing with the barbell bench press and also the dumbbell flies. Uh, this is Lou from YA Strength. You are strength. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.